What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jared and today we are going to be installing a new third brake light on this truck. So, we have one up there already. We have an aftermarket one. Full disclosure, I was contacted and asked to do this install video. Link, I'll have it somewhere on the screen here as to the company. And then there will be a link down in the description for this exact product, guys. We're going to show you here. And uh, this is the third brake light we're going in with. I think this one looks pretty cool. We'll take this off here. So direct plug and play here. <clears throat> I said, well, I think this one looks pretty cool. It's got like more of the modern uh, bars in here. And then it's got the LEDs. Has comes with the weather stripping. This is something dumb that I really like, guys. But this black. Uh, a lot of the times you get like this cheap chrome plating stuff on them and it wears off over time. It just looks like black plastic so it'll hold up and look good for a long time to come. Unlike the one that I have up there had that cheap chrome plating we talked about and it wore off. It looks terrible now. So, also it has the black backing which I really like. At some point I'll probably change my tail lights over to that style as well just so all the lights match across the board. Anyway, all you need for this install is a Phillips head screwdriver. We're gonna head up there and get this install going. So it's just held in place here with two screws. Now we have the old one removed. Here's the new one. Gonna plug just right in there. All right, so we have it plugged in. Before we set it in, I'm gonna unlock the truck here. And we can see the LEDs are working. So all you're going to do is tuck that back in. Make sure your weather stripping is still on there. Make sure it didn't come off. Now one thing I did do here is I took that uh, stripping off and I did stick the weather, um, the seal down on it actually. Give a nice good seal for when we put this on. It's going to look really good. Now we're going to put our screws back and I'll show you guys the finished product. Here's the finished product, looking good. Really like it, sharp looking product, guys. Check it out, check down the description down below for a link to it. Again, all you need tool-wise, Phillips head screwdriver, that's it. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Drop those comments down below, guys. And if you guys wanna see more Power Stroke and Diesel content, hit that subscribe button, guys. Stay tuned for future videos. I'll see you in the next upload.